Hi, this is Luke, and this is my first impressions review of the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now, as I say, this is my first impressions. I've been using the device for about 12 to 16 hours now. I only got it the first thing this morning. Obviously recording this on the evening now. So we'll be doing a full review at a later date. So if you're interested in that, then please subscribe to my channel. We'll keep checking back on it anyway. So, when it comes to the hardware, I was really pleasantly surprised, to be honest. I've seen so many written reports saying it was cheap and plasticky. And yes, I am one to say that the Galaxy range of phones and tablets do look quite cheap and feel quite cheap as well. But this, in comparison to those, is definitely the most premium looking and feeling one. The textured looking back is really nice, especially on the black version. And although it doesn't have the weight that, say, the iPhone 5 or the HTC One has to back up the quality look, it doesn't really doesn't feel that bad. The camera at 13 megapixels, so it's a really high quality camera, it does take some great images. I will have a separate camera video up as well over the coming days, if you want to check that one out. The screen was absolutely phenomenal when I first saw it, and it still is. I really wasn't expecting something this good. I mean, Samsung are known for their oversaturation of colours, and it really comes across well on the S4. Particularly the black screen, you know, there's the theory of the blackest blacks and the colours standing out on those. I don't know if it's just that. If anyone's got a white one, then please tell me. Uh, if it's the same for that. Now the speed of the phone, I have tinkered with a few of the settings to speed everything up on here. If you're interested in speeding your phone up, again I've already got a video on my channel so check that one out. And I w it was already fast, I have to be honest it really was fast. This is the 1.9 GHz quad core UK version. Uh, I have heard reports that the US 1.6 and 1.2 octa core chip version is ridiculously fast as well. So there's no problems on that side but if you do want to get rid of the delay and stuff I do know some tips for that that are in a video on my channel, as I say. Now, obviously I've not had a chance to fully review the phone, but there are a few of the features that everyone was looking forward to, you know, the eye tracking and all that. And I'm not going to go into a full review on that in this video, but I have tried them out. They're not that great, to be honest. They are quite gimmicky, and to be honest, I don't really see a use for them. If I'm going to look away from a video, I'm going to pause it anyway. So it's a great idea and hopefully they can improve on in the future but for now it's slightly poorly executed overall I'm really really impressed with the S4 so check back at a later date or check out the channel now there's loads of reviews on there already so if this has helped you out at all or you like the look of the S4 please click like let me know any thoughts or questions you have in the comments below and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in regular technology reviews thanks for watching